Hey guys, so coming at you today, I'm going to show you a few of my hacks and a few of my little tricks for the Mega Bass Mag Draft swim bait. Um, this is the six inch version. That's the one I probably throw the most. You know, they got an eight inch and a 10 inch. And honestly, where I'm from, we don't have fish big enough to eat the 10 inch. The eight inch is pushing it. Uh, I got a couple of them, but I don't really throw them a whole lot. So I spend a lot of time with the six inch. Um, and I come up with a few hacks that one, help you get the bait a little bit deeper and two, help you get every bite in the boat. Now, you know, just the nature of the swim bait, they're going to nudge it, they're going to nip it, swipe at it, whatever. So you're not going to get every single fish in the boat, but I've come up with these couple tricks that increase your odds. So you got a better chance at, at landing more fish. So. And they also don't impede the action. So let's just give you a rundown here. First, the equipment is very important. Um, you know, this bait needs to be fished super, super slow or else it likes to rise up to the surface or turn on the side. So I've been throwing this favorite, Big Sexy. This is the 7.6 Heavy. Um, it's got a pretty soft tip. So it allows me to, you know, not overpower the bait and it's got enough backbone that if i would hook a giant fish that i can fight it and most important part about my setup here is 15 pound fluorocarbon 15 pound um, i've thrown 20 i've thrown 17 25 i've thrown it on braid um, 15 is by far the best it allows the bait to get deeper and not want to rise up and a 15 pound line is plenty strong enough so another key thing is a seven to one gear ratio reel you don't want to be winding too fast um you know i'd even throw it on a six if you could that way you can wind yours a little bit faster but i've pretty much trained myself to uh slow down wind just just fast enough um take some time on the water to get used to that but all right dive into a couple of my little tricks here i got this one already tweaked out and i'll just give you a rundown on what to do how to do it so come standard with this treble hook right here you can rig it two different ways the magnet in there holds it that's why they got the mag draft from so i pretty much never fish it that way i always tuck the one hook in there and run the two hooks out like so um, that's just how I run it right there now after that right where that swivel is attached on that harness I took some 50 pound braid and just tied uh, improved clinch knot on there trimmed that off run it down here and I got a number six trocar tie that onto your braid and you want to tuck it in right behind that fin right there. You put one hook in there and now you got another two hooks out like so. Um, so now when that bait is running, that tail's kicking, that doesn't impede the action at all. So when a fish comes up and just mouse the tail, he's going to get that stinger hook right there. If he misses this one, he's going to get this stinger hook. And now other times the fish like to just come head first and they'll even miss this hook down here. They just nip at the head and spit it out. So that's what I got this hook here for, is I took a split ring, and this is a number four trocar treble hook. Um, so you just put the split ring right on where you tie your line, and then you gotta kinda bend the bait back a little bit, pull it as tight as you can, and just clip that treble hook in there just like so. And again, that does not impede the action that bait will still wiggle nice. And now you got another stinger hook. If he comes at the head, um, he's gonna get hooked right there. So last trick, oh wait, two more tricks, I lied. See that in there? I don't know if you can see that, but I got a nail weight in there. So what that allows that to do is that bait's gonna get deeper. It's not gonna wanna rise up. It's only a 332nd ounce nail weight. Let's see, that's the EcoPro Tungsten. 332nd nail weight um, but that allows this bait to stay level for putting it in there you could put it up in here but it's harder to get it lined up straight 
um, you got to take that nail weight and get it lined up perfectly straight along this this middle line here in the swim bait and I just take it right inside the hook slot squeeze that nail weight back in there and now that allows me to fish this bait another couple feet deeper keep it in the strike zone just a little bit longer and that makes all the difference in the world when you're fishing for money so one last trick okay now a lot of people don't believe in scent but i'm here to tell you scent matters okay i take this lip glue here even on a swim bait yep you may think i'm crazy but especially on like the rear third of a swim bait you take this lip glue rub it on there and i promise you that's going to help you land more fish bear with me here okay so this fish is coming up he's following your bait he comes up and just nips at your tail just nips it if he tastes that plastic like these have a strong plastic odor to them out of the package if he tastes that unnatural plastic he's not going to bite it again but if he nips at that tail and it tastes good to him he's going to come back for a second bite and he's going to come back for a little more next time and he's going to get that hook get one of the two hooks there so just a little bit lip glue rubbed on there that'll help you put more fish in the boat i promise you i've i've tried it especially with small mouth because they like to come up and nip it nip at the tail rip the tail off just taste it and they taste something they like they're going to come back for more just like you with potato chips you can't just have one that you like you're going to come back and taste more so that's my little hack right there on the mag draft let me know in the comments below if you have any hacks that you like to do as well i'm always curious and, and love to learn more about little tips and tricks on how to get more out of your bait so let me know appreciate you guys watching